Hey guys, it's Lauren, and if you clicked on this video, you probably are trying to find ways to save money on makeup. So the way I see it is, the less you pay for one product means you can buy even more. So I love this type of video. I'm going to be giving you guys a lot of ideas for products that are just like another. Basically, a dupe. If you don't know what a dupe is, a dupe is just like a duplicate for another product. Say that you go to Sephora and you get this blush, but there is an exact one, except for a little bit less of a price, at CVS. Why not buy the one from CVS? So I've spent the past week looking through my collection, seeing if I have any dupes, and I went online to see what other people have said. Some of these are kind of popular dupes that you probably heard of. Some of them are very new, like some of them I came up with myself, some of them are with newer products on the market. So I hope that this video is helpful and that you will be able to find a product that you've been wanting to purchase, but now you can get it for less. So if you enjoy this type of video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to click that subscription button so you can get more videos like this. I have tons of fun content coming up and I would hate for you to miss out. And if you would like to be notified whenever I post, be sure to hit that notification bell so that you do not miss out on any future videos. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and let's get into it. So the first dupe I have for you guys is one for the Benefit Hello Flawless Foundation. I'm sorry, my container is literally so dirty. I can't even... Mm. Okay, but then um, I have the Maybelline Matte and Poreless uh, Fit Me Foundation. So as you can see, they don't really look like at all, but it's about what is inside. This one I know has like really good like brightening properties and it, it claims that and it does do that. This one doesn't claim it, but it has it. Um, they're really good for like most skin types. I have dry skin and they're both marketed for like oilier and normal skin types, but I really like them. So I think, you know, it'll work for anyone. Um, what I'll say, they go on the same. They have the same amount of coverage. They have the same amount of wear time, which is about eight hours. It will, I mean, I think it kind of starts to look kind of weird after eight hours. They do oxidize. Both of them oxidize a little bit, but I mean, there's not a lot of foundations that don't. Honestly, you guys, if it was me, I would a thousand percent buy this one over the Benefit one just because I kind of like this one better. I mean, they work pretty much the same, but I just noticed that I'm able to have a longer wear time and just a little bit less oxidizing with the Maybelline one. So if I could choose, I would choose this one. So this next dupe to me is really freaky. Like to me, they are like the exact same product. So I have a dupe for the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. The packaging is really similar between these two, but that's not the only reason that these are like identical. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. I love this stuff so much, but you guys, these are like the same. So I'm gonna show you first. First I'm gonna show you their applicators. And this gets so, like they are so similar that it even goes down to the formula. So here are the applicators. You can tell they are like super similar. This one has a little bit more product on it just cause it's newer. But what I will say is the wear time is exactly the same for the both of them. They will stay on your lashes for a long time. They do the same effect, which is just kind of curling them upward, adding a little bit of volume, but it's mostly the length and the curl with these two. And it's funny because they're marketed as like drama, voluminous, and that's not really what I see them as. I see them as like making your lashes long and curled. And then also their formula, I mean, of course, because like wand and the formula keeps them going, but their formula, you guys, it stays for a month. That's what it is. And you've heard people talk about it with both of them, but they both only really last a month, which really irritates me, especially when I'm paying like $23 for this like Too Faced mascara. I can kind of get over it with this one because it's drugstore and a little less pricier. But you guys, really a mascara is supposed to last three months. We all know we keep them longer. But I will say that I have repurchased both of these and I really do... I mean, I like them both, but they're pretty much the same. So if you're going to go for one, and definitely go for the Lash Paradise. But if for some reason you want to try out the Too Faced, they're the same. So the next dupe is actually one for one of my favorite foundations. It is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. That's what it looks like. I love this foundation. It applies so evenly, so smooth to my skin. It is perfect for dry skin, you guys. Um, I know that Giorgio Armani has like a fabric one for oilier skin, so if you're interested in trying out kind of this luxury brand, then you can go to that one if you have kind of more of an oily skin type. But 
This one is a dupe for the Luminous Silk. This is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. You probably heard about this before. Mine has um, mine has SPF in it. They normally don't. It does not make a difference. I've tried the one without SPF. Like it really makes no difference. But here's the thing with these two. They are both so blendable. They're so nice on the skin. Like I can't even tell you these foundations both both last forever and they really don't like I don't get any like of the dry patches I don't see any wearing throughout the day I have like no oxidation with either of them and I just feel like they overall work amazing so if for some reason you're wanting to try out a luxury brand and wanting to kind of get your bang for your buck I really recommend this one I mean I know it's pricey and if you're not really willing to pay that price because trust me no one really is then go for this one because they really do work like pretty much the same I really like them both and I would recommend both. So this next dupe is also a mascara dupe. It is for the Benefit Their Real Mascara. Here's what it looks like. I love this product. I love the kind of curl and like wet look it has with my mascara. I just love what it does for my lashes. And then we have the Maybelline, the Falsies. Here's what it looks like. You know, the packaging looks absolutely nothing alike. And even the applicators are different. Like this one has more of a curve to it and this one's just straight. However, the formula is like the same. And really the applicators work the same too. Like they really just do something where they curl your lashes. The formulas are both very wet. So if you don't like a wet mascara, then you're probably not gonna like either one of these. But if you're like me and enjoy kind of like having, you know, the ability to make it longer, not get clumpy as fast, I really love that. And if you've been looking for kind of more of an affordable option, cause you don't really wanna spend that 20 something price tag for this mascara, which I don't blame you, then I definitely recommend picking up the Maybelline The Falsies because they both last a pretty long time, longer than the three month mark, and I'd recommend it to anyone. So the next dupe I have is actually for a brow gel. This is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Here's what it looks like. And the product itself is really just like a clear mascara. I mean, here's what it looks like. The applicator's tiny. It doesn't do that much, especially for its price. So if you want a product similar to this, because it works and it helps keep your, you know, brows in place, especially if you have crazy ones like me, then I highly recommend picking up the e.l.f. Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. Here's what it looks like. This is actually a dual-ended product, so you're able to get, like, a lash, like, eyelashes one, and then you're able to get one for your eyebrows. I think they're the same formula, so really you could e use either one. You can either use it on your eyebrows, like you would use with the brow gel from Anastasia, or you can use it on your lashes if you kind of like that longer lash look, but you don't like them necessarily being darker or looking like you're trying that hard. So I love that you're able to do multiple things with this product, and it is super affordable, like most things from e.l.f. I'm not saying don't use this. Like, I, I mean, I like the Anastasia product a lot, but for being, like, the exact same product, I really think I would just go with the e.l.f. one. It's no secret that I'm, like, the biggest fan of NARS, especially their lipsticks. This is the NARS, NARS Audacious Lipstick in the shade Barbara. So that's what that looks like. And then the dupe for it is one from CoverGirl. It is the CoverGirl Katy Perry Katy Cat Matte in Sphinx. So the colors are a little bit different. I'm sure you could find an exact dupe between the brands. This one's just a little bit more blue tone. And you'll see that in my swatches that I have on my hands. But first I want to show you the tips of the products. So obviously... You know, they're a little bit of a different color, but not much. And what I think I, I mean, why I think these are such a dupe for each other, and I'll show it to you on my hand, they bullet, like they go into the skin the same, like they're the same. Do you see how they go into my skin? Like it is amazing. So I'll show you. This one is the Barbara, the one from NARS. And then this one's the Kitty Cat Matte in Sphinx. Now they are a little bit of different in color, but you guys, the formula is like, the same they have kind of that matte but a little bit of a creamy finish so i really think that you can go either way with this it kind of just depends on which color you like better at this point but honestly i kind of like this one i have to say i have to say for some reason i just really like it i think it's because of the color sometimes this one can be a little too dark so if you're someone like me who likes a little bit of a more neutral look then i would go for the covergirl one but if you like something a little bit more vampy then i would go with the nars the next dupe is for a lip gloss. It is the Laura Mercier Bronze Berry Lip Plumper. So that's what it looks like. You guys, 
I really do. I love this product. I don't love the way it smells. It has kind of a um chocolatey mint smell to it, and I really like it initially. Like smelling it there was like really like nostalgic and nice, but then when you're wearing it for a long time, you have to reapply. It just it gets a little much. But then the dupe I have for it, and you guys. These are the exact same. Formula, color, everything. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Slicks Lip Gloss in the shade Bronze Berry. Boom. I mean, to me, that is just crazy. They are named almost to the T. There's literally one difference, and it is one letter between these two. I can't. And of course, like the packaging, but who cares? The applicators are pretty much the same as with mini lip glosses. I'm going to do the swatches on my hand now so you can kind of see. I may not even remember which one is which. I'm going to try and like make a distinguish um, between which one because they are so similar. I mean, I can't. I can't even. Here's what they look like. So as you can see, they are pretty much, I mean, I made this one a bit thicker, pretty much the same thing. This one is the um what is it called the wet and wild one and this one is the la mercier i mean honestly this one's a bit more opaque but you guys they're like the same can you i mean i can't believe that and i mean brands do this all the time so really look out for that if you're looking to save a little money you totally can here i mean yes the la mercier is a great product but the wet and wild is literally the same thing and just as good so it's not to knock either brand one for copying one for I don't know, being the same as the other, but a little bit pricier. I really love them both, and I'd recommend either one to you. But if you're looking to save a little money, go for the Wet n Wild. So that is all of the dupes I have for you today, but I do have a few more in mind. So if you are interested in another type of these videos, or maybe like other types of money-saving videos, be sure to give this a thumbs up so that I can know to do more of those in the future. If you aren't already subscribed, be sure to do that, because I have a lot of fun content and tips and tricks and I have so much fun ideas in my head right now, and I cannot wait to get them out there for you guys, especially with summer coming up. You want to be subscribed. And if you have not hit that notification bell, you want to do that too, so you can be notified right when I post. If you guys have any dupes that you want to share with everyone, comment those down below so that we can have like a money-saving like little community. So also, if you are bored, want to watch more of my videos, I'll leave a link to the playlist right there or there. I can never remember which side it's on. And I'll leave links to some videos down below along with all the products mentioned in this video and my socials. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you at my next one. Bye!